Hello guys, so today I'm going to be filming for you guys this video on how to save money on makeup. Now, we all love to save money and we all love makeup. How do we do both? Sometimes it seems impossible. Sometimes it seems like you have to spend 20 trillion dollars for great products, but we do not have to. Do not be like me and have 4,000 Sephora points. Also, just in general, like who doesn't want to save money? Well, the first way to save money on makeup is to basically get dupes or things that are cheaper that replace high-end brands um, or basically affordable things that are really good quality. So for example, I have these eyeshadows right here. They actually match the color scheme of my outfit. But you just have these shades right here. They, they're in the pan. I actually swatched them before because um, I was playing around with them when I did my eyeshadow. If you guys want a tutorial, let me know. I'm getting my ring light fixed. Um, but yeah, so here we have these swatches. And I am going to have all the names down below. Um, but Carity was nice enough to send me these affordable eyeshadows to share with you guys. When I ordered them online, they were like $5 each eyeshadow. And they come in like these little pans, just like you see any other um, single eyeshadows. But they're super, once again, super inexpensive. I know single eyeshadows that go for like $15 each pan. It's ridiculous. But yeah, so you really do want to get quality makeup. That's affordable. Also affordable brushes. Carity has really affordable brushes too. They're super soft and they're about like eight, nine bucks, 10 at most. Um, so yeah, they're super soft. The second way to save money are discount codes. I actually will slip in my discount code for Carity. It will be down below, but definitely check out YouTubers who sponsor the brands that you want. They have either 15% off, which is what I have, um, 20, 30, up to 50% off, I know. So you can definitely look around, you know, scroll through those info boxes, check out mine as well. Online shop and like just go, just, just you got it, you got it. You just click, extra money in your pocket. Sort of matching up with the first one that I chose, the next one is drugstore. You can definitely find so many affordable products in the drugstore. For example, my face powder that I use every day and my foundation that I use most days are from Maybelline and L'Oreal. The drugstore is really upping their game. I know they have color correcting products that you would usually just find in like Sephora or MAC or any other retailers that are more expensive and on the high end side of the makeup world, but definitely check out um, a bunch of deals that you can get at the drugstore. I know they also have um, coupons for CVS, Walgreens. Don't disregard the drugstore because there are so many finds that you would sometimes overlook. The fourth tip is to basically Keep track of what you have. This is something that I have got to listen to because I am overwhelmed with all of the products that I have in my makeup, not my makeup room, but my actual room. Because my makeup closet is like a whole nother fiasco of a mess. But everything somehow like migrated to my area of the room with my table and everything and it's just crazy. When you go makeup shopping, if you go makeup shopping and you're like, oh, do I have this? And you don't know and you just buy it, then you just wasted money on something you already had or something similar to it. So you don't want to keep on buying the same things, buying the same type of things if you really don't need to and you want to save money. The fifth way to save money on makeup is to use multi-purpose items. The lipsticks can go for blushes and um, highlighters and bronzers can be used as eyeshadows. I also know that lip salves, they can be used for minor burns, split ends, cuts. Um, what else do I have here? Sort of elbows, heels, it really is awesome to use for different things. The sixth tip is to make your own products. I know there's so many DIYs that you can find. I haven't done any yet, but you can do so many DIYs and create your own products such as lipsticks, blush, bronzer, um, anything really powder formed, you can replace your hair products such as dry shampoo, you can use baby powder for that instead. It's really super simple and I, I actually don't make my own makeup but I give so much credit to anyone who does. Tip number seven is to recycle those packages that you have. I know MAC does a, a back to MAC system and so does Lush. They basically will give you a free product if you give them um, empty bottles or empty pans or empty containers of products that you've already used up. So not only are you getting a free product, but you get to, you know, recycle and contribute to the environment. 
The eighth way to save money on makeup is to use samples. A bunch of free samples are given out all the time, especially if you do order makeup online, or you can even go to Sephora or MAC or any other high-end counter and ask them for a sample of the product. So this way, you can really see if you like it and you want to splurge or you want to save. Number nine is to basically fix makeup that has been broken. I know for lipsticks, um, you can basically like melt or sort of warm up the edge that broke off and then connect it back into the lipstick container. Um, for powders, what I've been doing since middle school, my eyes, my gross, like inexpensive eyeshadows would crack. Um, I used to have like really cheap stuff. Um, but when they would crack, you'd be like, oh my gosh, this is the only makeup I have. So basically, I would crush up the powder. You want to just crush it up, maybe like the end of a makeup brush, and then you want to make it finely milled. Then you want to add a couple drops of either rubbing alcohol or witch hazel, and you want to mix it up into a paste. Then take like a coin or just something and then a um, paper towel and you want to press it down so that it really just makes sure that everything's pressed on in there. You let it dry, the witch hazel or the rubbing alcohol evaporates and you're left with your product and better. And it doesn't change the product because you're not really adding anything crazy to it. The rubbing alcohol evaporates and it goes back to normal. So definitely fix your makeup if you can. Be resourceful. The last tip is to basically bring your old makeup back to life. Now, this is something that I saw when I was trying to find other ways to save money on makeup. There are so many ways that you can repurpose your old makeup, such as mascara, you can add some drops of Visine, or liquid lipsticks, you can sort of put it in warm water and um, sort of soften up the product so you can pour it out into like a, a pan to use. But I think that if the product is that old, you shouldn't really be using it because bacteria does build up. But if it is something that you want to do to contribute to saving money, repurpose or reuse your um, old dried out products and bring them back to life. So that is basically it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know what you guys thought about it in the comments below. I love you guys so much and once again, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat.